When do you lob in pickleball? How often do you lob? What areas of the court do you lob to? Do you lob from the back court or do you lob from the kitchen? Get ready to find out. <laughs> First, defensive lob from the kitchen. When do you hit the shot? When you're out of position. Look, I was out of position. It gave me time to get back into the point. And now we have them back. We actually have a good position. Now the second lob was being lazy. <laughs> and people might get upset. <laughs> However, the lob is a part of the game. You go to a tournament, people are gonna lob you. When to lob in a tournament? In the sun. Lob directly in the sun so people can't see. <laughs> but people will get upset. He was a professional. I might be upset, you know? I might be out of my mind. <laughs> Next. The strategic lob from the kitchen while in position. Now watch Sandy. I'm playing with her. This is a big Rockledge money tournament. And this is actually we're down match point. They're dinking. Sandy's dinking. When watch this, she disguises this lob so well as a dink. And this is an offensive shot, people. It's an offensive shot. Christina just made an incredible get. And this turns into an awesome point. Now let's see that in real time one more time. Sandy disguises this as a dink and throws it up. This is just so good. Sandy throws it cross court. By doing this, it confuses the opponents. They don't know which one to take. And they are in a load of trouble. Next, the topspin lob. The topspin lob can be either used from the kitchen. And look at this. Look at that. It's a super offensive shot. It's a super weapon. Now, I have the Electrum, but the new Prestige came out. A lot of paddles put good spin, and that's one from the baseline, too. So, lobs are effective in pickleball. They can be used, they're weapons, and you should use them sporadically. I think sporadically would be the correct word. Pickleball lovers, I'm going to keep the videos coming, and please subscribe. Also, throw some lobs up into the sun. <laughs>